Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create a very simple hack using Python for a game. And you can apply this to any game, not the game which I will be using to hack right now. So I'll be hacking a salt cube, which is a very simple FPS game. And uh, it will be in uh, local mode, not multiplayer. So uh, I don't actually cheat. But um, you can use this on any game. It should, it will work on any game. It not should, it will work. And we will be using Cheat Engine and PyMem. We will be using Cheat Engine to get like the addresses, the pointers and stuff, and PyMem to write the actual info. So uh, make sure you download Cheat Engine. There will be a link in the description from where you can download it. And open up the game which you want to hack. And also open up Cheat Engine. Now, in Cheat Engine, click this icon at, in the top uh, left corner and select the game which you want to hack. So in my case, Assault Cube. And now we will be making a simple ammo hack, which will give us infinite ammo. So to find the value in Cheat Engine and modify, we, will, we have to do just a couple of scans. So right now I have 15 ammo. So let me scan for the number 15 for scan. And you can see there's a ton of results. So let's shoot a bit. Now we have 11 ammo. And scan again for 11. So from which of these values have changed to 11? And you can see only three. So let's do it again. Now we have six ammo. And next scan, and you can see there's only two left. So I'll just try the first one and see if it's, if it's the correct one. So I'll just change this to 100. Oh, and you can see now we have 100 ammo. So yeah, it's pretty easy and very simple, but it's not that simple to make Python uh, change this value from code. So to do this, you can see that there's an address here, but this address changes every time we restart the game. So we have to find the pointer, which always stays the same, the static pointer. Uh, this To find the static pointer, it's a bit harder than just um, doing a scan. Actually, we will have to do a lot of scans, like I think six or five scans, something like that, but uh, much different. So let's get into it. So here, right click the address and select a pointer scan for this address. Now here, uh, change the max level to five and the maximum offset value to 2073. And here you can mod the higher the number, the quicker it will be, you can just select okay. Uh, just I'll just name it one because we will do more than one scan. You can uh, delete these files later, so it doesn't matter. And just a second, and here it is. It finished the first scan. But you can see we have like 29 million results, so there's really a very small chance of guessing which one of these is the ammo. So what we will do is make sure not to close this. Uh, close a salt cube, or I mean the game which you will be hacking, and open it up again. Now in cheat engine, not this pointer scan results, the actual cheat engine, uh, reopen the game. So go to the select the process to open and select it again and click open. Make sure to click yes when it uh, asks you to keep the current address list and code list. Now we will be scanning again for the ammo. So just shoot a bit, 15 ammo, uh, new scan, make sure to click new scan, not next scan. So new scan, 15, first scan, again, eight ammo now, next scan, uh, a bit more, two ammo, next scan, and probably the first value as well. So let's modify it to make sure, 111 ammo, and yeah, it worked. So now, double click this new, um, the new ammo address you have, not the old one, and copy this address, right click copy. You can click OK, you can close that window. Here in the pointer scan results, go to pointer scan, and rescan memory, and paste the address to find here. Click OK. I'll just name this two because it's the second scan. And you can see we have less results now, still a lot. So basically do this uh, five to six times, and then I will show you a little trick which you can do to speed up uh, the process a lot. But we need to uh, narrow down the results a bit more. So I'll fast forward. OK, so I've done the scan six times now. You can see I'm on the sixth scan. And we still have a lot of results. 
So it will probably take us like 100 scans at least to have only 10 or something results. So what we can do, probably most of these are duplicates of the ammo. So many of these probably are already the ammo pointer. And you can see there are also some that say thread stack. We only want the AC client. So what we can do is just add a couple of these in. Just double click some of the ones which say AC client or in your case, the game you are hacking. I don't know, the, it can be a DLL as well, by the way. So just double click some of them. Uh, not the third stack, my bad. It uh, doesn't matter which ones, just uh, any of them will do. And I guess about 20 of them is fine. Okay, so I think this is good enough. So now in uh, the game, close it for one last time. And now open it up again. Soft cube. And now in Cheat Engine, open up the game again. And key PS. And you can see some of these pointer scans results are actually the ammo. You can see it says 20. And if we modify them, for example, 1000 in the game, we now have 1000 ammo. So we found the pointer to the ammo. We can delete now uh, everything except one pointer scan result. And yeah, well now we only have one left. And this is the, addre uh, the address. These are the offsets. And uh, this, is the, this is basically everything we would need. So now we have the uh, pointer scan address, the offsets, and we're good to go. You can now close the pointer scan results window. So now let's actually start coding. So in open up a Python file in any IDE and type from pymem, import everything. And from pymem.process, import everything, and import keyboard. Because we will also be using the keyboard module to uh, set shortcuts. For example, if we click F1, it will make our ammo be 1000. So uh, let's define some variables. So the memory will be the, uh, the uh, memory which pymem will be scanning. So just type pymem with a capital P, and as an argument, the uh the game's name so for example here uh in task manager i mean you can see ac underscore client dot exe so this ac underscore client dot exe now we will also need the module variable which will be the uh game module for example you can see in cheat engine if we double click the pointer it says ac client dot exe plus some uh some uh, address so whatever it says here it might be a dll file in your case just copy it and this is what the module not what the module will be but what we will need for the module so the module will be module from name and as arguments we will be passing the mem.process handle and the uh, name which you just copied from cheat engine so in my case ac client.exe and we also need to put a .lp base of bm. Now that we have some of the variables ready, we can make a function to get the pointer address from the offsets. So uh, get pointer address, we will need to pass in the uh, base address and the offsets. So uh, what we will be doing is you can see these oh no uh, self cube cheat engine you can see these uh offsets they are being added to the address so basically this is what the function will do but you can see that the last one this one which is just c it is being uh added differently you can see that these are in brackets and there's an arrow but here it's an equal sign so this one we will have to ignore it and add it normally at the end. The other ones we will have to use a pymem function to add them. So the uh, address will be equal to mem.readInt and the int we will be reading is the base. And for offset in offsets, we will loop the uh, offsets list. Uh, if we will check if the offset is not the last one because remember we want to add the last one manually so if it's not equals to the last uh, 
offset. If you do minus one, by the way, it will take the last element from the list. And if it if it's not the last one, we will the address will be modified to be mem the read int with the address plus the offset. So the new address will be the old address plus the offset with the mem the read int. And now outside of the for loop at the end, we can add the last offset manually. So uh, addr equals addr plus offset minus one, the last one. And we can return the address. Okay. So now that we did this, we are basically done. We just need actually the offsets list and a while loop. So let's make the offsets list up here, offsets which will be uh, in cheat engine here, open it up. And this one is going to be the first one. So uh, make sure to add zero X, by the way, at the beginning. So zero X that, zero X for 10, zero X for three, four, zero X three C eight. And the last one, zero X C, yep. Yep, now that we have the offsets, at the bottom of your code, make just a very simple while loop so it uh, runs the whole time. And we can simply check if the uh, key F1 is pressed or whatever shortcut you want to make. Then we will recharge the ammo to be 1000. So let's make a variable up here, which will be the shortcut. And let's make it be F1. Uh, but if you want to make it be, for example, two keys like uh, control plus F1, you can do uh, Control plus F1, like that. So, uh, while true, if keyboard dot key dot is pressed and the argument will be shortcut, which will be F1 or whatever you made it be. And if it is, then we will uh, write int using uh, pymem, mem dot write int uh, to the get pointer address because we will be writing to the pointer address with the, remember, we have to pass in the base, which is the module, this module up here, and um, the pointer address, or no, wait, we have to, we should add the pointer address, my bad, because you can see we are adding here to the module, we are adding the address. So copy this address over here and add a zero X at the beginning and then paste it. And um, now uh, the last module, we need to pass in the offsets. So now that we have this ready, uh, we actually have to pass in an, another argument in the write int function. So not make sure it's not in the get pointer address function outside of it how much uh, ammo you want to write. So for in my case, I want to write 1000 ammo. Okay, so this should be everything. Now uh, I'll just close the game and restart it. So you can see that it works uh, even if the game is closed. I mean, even if the game will be restarted. So now if we run this and open up a salt cube, I, you can see I have 20 ammo. And right now I will click F1. F1, and I have 1000 ammo. And if I click it again, 1000 ammo. Yep, so it works. Uh, you successfully managed to make a hack for a game. Now this should work with uh, any, uh, any game you want. If you have any questions, there will be a link to my Discord server in the description. And also make sure to comment and uh, like and subscribe if you want to. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.